Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, I'm going to explain the formula for wind chill. Let's take a look at the current weather conditions in New York City. Now, the current conditions actually refer to a lot of different variables, but when people want to know what the weather is like, they usually want to know what the air temperature is, in this case, 20 degrees. But when it gets colder, people are usually more interested in the wind chill because that tells you what the temperature feels like. So what does it mean that the temperature feels like it's 13 degrees? The temperature refers to the air temperature, and that's usually a good measure of what it feels like outside. But when there's a lot of wind, that wind is going to remove heat from your body and objects, and that'll make the objects cool faster. So scientists have actually measured the effect that wind has on cooling objects. In some of the original studies, they looked at how quickly water in a plastic bottle would cool when there's a lot of wind. They summarize the results in a wind chill formula. So this is a formula that takes the temperature in Fahrenheit and the wind speed in miles per hour and converts it to an equivalent temperature of how much that wind is going to reduce the temperature. So the formula is 35.74 plus 0.6215 times the temperature plus V raised to the power of 0.16 times the quantity 0.4275 times t minus 35.75. So we're going to explain what this formula means. So imagine at first there's very little wind, the wind speed is one. So basically that term of v to the 0.16 will vanish. And when you collect the terms, you end up with the wind chill is equal to the temperature minus 0.01. So what that means is when there's no wind, the wind basically has no effect. So the wind chill, it's going to feel like what the air temperature is. However, when there is a lot of wind, this V to the power of 0.16 is going to have an effect. So let's look at what happens when the temperature is 20. We'll substitute 20 for T equals 20. And we'll look at the other variable of wind speed. Here we have a wind speed of five miles per hour. So we're going to take that term of V and we're going to set V equal to five. So now we have an equation expression for the wind chill. And when we evaluate it, we get 12.98. So we calculated the wind chill was 12.98 and this pretty much exactly matches the wind chill of 13 degrees. So that's where the wind chill formula comes from. And you can use it to evaluate the wind chill when you know the temperature and the wind speed. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Press Talwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website.